Welcome to Coleman Coliseum as we honor Pat Summit and her continued impact on women's basketball, both on and off the court. Tonight in Tuscaloosa, it's the Alabama Crimson Tide against the Texas A&M Aggies. Patty thought about it from outside, instead spinning in. Banks in her shot. Beautiful move. Here's Bowles with a three. Beautiful stroke. Nothing but the bottom. Top. Cut into this deficit that they have built on themselves. Right to Patty. Right to work. It's a six-point game. Aaliyah Patty, as you see, you find some energy. When you crash the boards, good things happen. And it seems like Alabama's coming out in the second half with the zone. Bowles bust the zone early on. And that's what you have to do if you're Texas A&M. You're going to have to be a zone buster. A&M has played so many quarters this season that have been strong defensively. So we see that one go for the Aggies. Every possession matters to try to get back into the game. Malone with the block. Beautiful block by Jada Malone. Sliding her feet over, keeping her hands high. KK Green gets A&M back on the board with the three-pointer. Just what A&M needs. KK Green inside the arc, got that. Beautiful move. Saw some good things from AM defensively, but Alabama, a good late surge in this third quarter, and it's still an 11 point lead for the Tide heading to the fourth quarter. Brittany Davis now leading the way with 14 points for the Tide. Kendrick crashing right up against Rice. Basketball will stay with the Aggies. Pettacord with the three. Great shot by Pettacord. Got freed up, knocking it down. And those two have remained in good contact, even as we get a good steal for Texas AM. And score for Mackenzie Green, but 14 point lead, a minute 50 to go. Got a roll in for KK Green. Beautiful shot. She's had a lot of energy all night long. She's really come out to play, made some strong moves to the basket, some beautiful mid range jump shots, as you can see. 11 points on the night, all in the second half. Hard fought game by Texas A&M once again made life difficult a bit for the Crimson Tide defensively, but ultimately it's Alabama on top.